Michelle Assenmacher is testing a Honda Clarity, her first fuel cell-powered car in Denmark, because it's the European country with the best network of hydrogen gas stations. The Japanese car maker has developed a vehicle that produces no toxic emissions, runs on electricity, recharges rapidly, and has the range of a gasoline or diesel-powered vehicle. All the advantages and none of the disadvantages of a conventional internal combustion engine. Michelle's first impression of the Honda Clarity fuel cell is very good. The interior is attractive and the car is very comfortable and quiet. Honda's environmentally friendly flagship has an elegant, stately design. Ultra-thin LED headlights underscore the futuristic appearance that we can expect from Honda models in the future. The fuel cell stack has been reduced in size, so now it fits in the engine compartment. The Honda Clarity is all about aerodynamics. Special alloy wheel rims and the hatchback roofline reduce wind resistance. Air curtains let the air stream smoothly past the wheel arches. To improve the Clarity's aerodynamics, Honda has added air intakes in front and back, says Michelle. Air streams in at the front and leaves again through an opening at the back, past the wheel. And that means less air turbulence. The Clarity has room for five people. The back seat has ample space. But the trunk is a real problem. The two big hydrogen tanks leave only 334 liters of space for cargo, and the back seat can't be put down. Almost 80% of the interior surface consists of environmentally friendly materials. The dashboard and the interior cladding on the doors are made of recycled polyester. Plant materials are used for the floor mats and roof lining. As with most alternative power systems, this car is very quiet to drive, says Michelle. The transmission is direct, and Michelle especially likes that the car coasts rather than starting to brake as soon as she takes her foot off the gas. How does a fuel cell car work, actually? To make it simple, a fuel cell car is an electric car that doesn't need to be plugged in. It has its own power plant on board. In the fuel cell stack in the engine compartment, oxygen and water react, producing electrical energy. And the ash from this oxidation is pure water. A turbo compactor pumps air, and with it, oxygen through the fuel cell. The hydrogen comes from two pressure tanks. Refueling the Honda Clarity is just like refueling a car with a gasoline engine, says Michelle. Open the latch, and lower this little switch. Then set the fuel nozzle on it. When you secure the lever, air is shot into the tank to measure how full it is and how much hydrogen needs to be added. Filling up takes about three minutes. The full cells and a buffer battery under the front seats produce a maximum of 130 kilowatts and 300 newton meters of torque. When the car slows or brakes, energy is recouped in the battery, like in a normal electric car. Honda says one tank of hydrogen will take the Clarity more than 700 kilometers, but 600 or 650 kilometers is probably more realistic. The car accelerates from zero to 100 in nine seconds. When you accelerate, says Michelle, you can really hear the car sucking in air from the outside. Maybe you can't hear it well in this film, but here inside the car, it sounds strange, but <laughs> pretty cool. When you step on the gas, a hissing sound drowns out the hum of the electric motor. That's compressed air being forced into the fuel cell and water vapor leaving the car through the underbody. The Honda Clarity won't be seen on German streets in the near future. There simply aren't enough hydrogen service stations. Honda is one of five car manufacturers taking part in the initiative High Five,
which wants to promote knowledge and acceptance of fuel cell technology.